Hi everybody, it's Debbie Tessie again, and this is kind of a, an impromptu video for the NBC box that I did today. Everybody's loved it so much, and I've got just a little bit of time. I leave town in the morning at 7 o'clock, so I'm going to try to get this done tonight before I leave. Um, just to give you an idea of what I use, I'm going to make several small little videos, I guess, and that way they'll upload easier. But this first one is just going to show the box, what it's going to look like, and everything you need to do it. So let me see how I turn this around. And my lighting is terrible, by the way. My life's been crazy for the last few months. And my craft room, I had to move it, and it's very unorganized. <laughs> it's driving me crazy, but I should get it back soon. So anyway, this is what we're going to be making. And I haven't attached my battery lights yet but this is the box and the seller is wooden models art on etsy um he's got great he's my favorite seller because um first of all he's, the customer service is outstanding he did some custom files for me when i first got started this year and when he sends when you get his files it comes as a group, the SVG, so you only pull the, the group in. You don't have to pull every single layer in individually, and I'll be honest, I'm just too lazy to do that sometimes. <laughs> so I like it coming together as one. Um, this is the frame that I got. I don't know if you can see it. My lighting's terrible here. But it's this one in particular is from um, Joann's, and they're clearanced out right now. It's a 8 by 10 matted to five by seven, but you take all that out anyway. Um, you'll need a couple zots. This is the, um, I've already lost my train of thought. You're gonna have to deal with that because that's just part of who I am these days. This is the weather stripping that I use for my spacing. And with this size frame and this many layers, this is as thick as you need. I think it's like a quarter inch. Um, and I get this from Amazon, and I'll I'll put the links to everything I use in the comment section, I guess, because I really don't know how to use this YouTube thing yet very much either. Um, just some scrap vinyl. Um, this is what I envisioned when I saw it, the colors that I saw re reflect, reflecting well, and it did pretty good, I think. Um, this is the plastic poster board that I use that I stick the vinyl on. This is, I've cut this, this is like, um, I have to put my glasses on to read it. 22 by 28 inches, and it comes where the normal poster board is, like what the kids use for school and stuff like that. But it's clear, you can, let me put it up to the light. You can see through it, I guess you can see that. Um, and I just cut it down to whatever size I need. I, I leave a little cause it needs to overlap, of course. So you, you have space to work with. Um, this box will have three sets of the little fairy lights. One purple, one green, and one white. And those are pretty cheap. I get those from Amazon. Um, for the very back layer in this, I also used the white, the clear poster board, plastic poster board. I don't even really know what it's called. But I used that for the very back layer too because I wanted all the light I could to come through and to be able to light up the holes in the moon that he's got cut out. Um, the rest of it is just, let's see. For the, the black layer, I did use a shiny black paper for the Oogie Boogie and the house part, the pumpkins. I love shiny stuff. This that I used for the moon is called Galaxy Glitz paper and Michael's had it when I first started doing this this year and then all of a sudden they started clearancing it out and I went around and I got all that I could possibly find but they don't sell it anymore. I wish I could find it. For the spider web, I use like a this I just used this one today. It's uh, the paper studio from Hobby Lobby and it reflects really well and I like for my spider webs to look like they do in the morning the best I can. The rest is just um, black, gray, and white paper. And one thing when you're doing these boxes, um, I don't, it's, 
it's hard to explain, but when I see them, I see something in my head. So I try to start gathering up whatever I need to make what I see. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you don't have to make it the color of the mock-ups that the sellers use. Use your imagination, make them any way you want, any color you want, any size you want. I should have probably combed my hair before I did this. It's been a long day. But um, anyway, oh, I forgot one thing. Command, well, two things. Command strips, that's what I put the battery packs on the back with when it's the small fairy packs. But when I use the bigger battery pack, there's one by Scotch that's extra heavy duty or something, and it really holds, and that's what I use for those. And then to put my lights on, I'm just going to use Target brand generic Scotch tape. That's turned out to be my favorite. It's kind of hard to tear off the roll, but it sticks well to the paper. So that's it for now, and I'm going to start this up, and I will do the best I can. And I, I can't wait to see what you guys create.